Paul Manafort, the Donald Trump campaign is confirming has resigned from the campaign. Of course, some big changes and shakeups there over the last few days. Paul Manafort, of course, was brought in in the last few months uh, to shake things up with the last regime change. Uh, he had been demoted somewhat, and as we're understanding and as we're learning this morning, CNN confirming uh, Paul Manafort did, in fact, offer his resignation, according to the campaign, and it was accepted. Is it a surprise at all? Well, there are several surprises. First, I don't think it's a surprise uh, that Paul Manafort resign, has resigned. I think the big surprise is what, whether we're watching a switcheroo, one of the biggest ever in politics. You know, Paul Manafort was the person who was seen as, as uh, the most influential and the most aggressive in trying to get Donald Trump to, quote, pivot, to become more moderate, to become, to express, you know, regrets as he did last night. And, and he's been replaced. He's been, you know, and he's been basically forced out. Uh, by two people coming in now who come in from the so-called dark side of politics who are expected to make Trump even more abrasive and more pugilistic. And what does he do on his first night? Uh, he goes soft uh, on, the, on the opening and says he expresses his regrets. Now, what does that all mean? I mean, are these people from the dark side really moving him, getting the pivot that Manafort couldn't? I think we'll have to wait and see. I do think one thing we're seeing quickly with the new team is they're responding to events much more rapidly, events that are in the news. Uh, you know, sending Donald Trump down to Louisiana was a very smart move, given all the kind of criticism that's going on about President Obama being mm -hmm. on vacation. Uh, but very importantly, we, uh, Donald Trump picked up on that State Department story about Iran and the, 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 the relationship of payments to hostages being released. Uh, and he got it right into his speech. He's writing the, the events of the day, I think, uh, more cleverly and more aggressively. And that could be one of the first changes. But whether there's a true pivot and a new Donald Trump after 15 months, uh, I, I think we shouldn't be swayed by one night.